Educating Rita is a 1983 comedy drama directed by Lewis Gilbert. Rita is a working class hairdresser in her mid-twenties who decides she wants to better herself and avoid uh, leading the same sort of monotonous life that her family and friends do. Uh, so she enrolls in an open university course in English literature, uh, which lands her in the office of a, a jaded professor called Frank Bryant. Initially, he's reluctant to take her on, but he finds her sort of enthusiasm refreshing and, uh, you know, her sort of attitude and personality a bit different to the, to the normal students he's used to teaching. So that kind of reinvigorates his passion for teaching. So that's the kind of the sort of... Uh, a thread of the film, how they how they help each other to grow as people. Yes, so this is our final uh, inspirational teacher film, and you'll also notice that we're now not sitting next to each other. So for the next couple of videos, this is it. Back to how it was last year. And that's simply because we've got car problem. Well, if you're in yeah. the UK, you'll know exactly what kind of car issues we've got at the moment. <laughs> and that's not... That's not we've, well, he's got... Simon's got other car issues. My car's got fuel in it. I just can't drive the damn thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> Gary just had it for a week, fixing the multitude of problems with it. All I could say is just don't buy a Renault. Um, I certainly will never will again. <laughs> Not so. sponsored by Renault. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, so hence why we're not together uh, for this one, and also next week's one will be like this as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, hopefully so, the craziness at the petrol stations will have subsided in time for the one after that. So yeah, so this is obviously our final uh, inspirational teacher, and this is kind of it's, it's kind of actually worked out quite well because we started with kindergarten cop, which was in a kindergarten, or I suppose in this country would be preschool. Mm -hmm. um, and then we did School of Rock, which was like, I suppose, primary school. And then we did Dead Poet Society, which is secondary school, we're in the UK anyway. And now we're up at university with good old Michael Caine and his somewhat <laughs> alcoholic lecturer. Well, I hadn't seen it for quite a long I mean, I, no, I had, I had seen it a few years ago for the first time ever. I'd never seen it before. Mm. It's kind of one of those films that... You know, as you grow up, there's like a, a certain number of films that you always hear about. Yeah, and yeah. It's like, you know, oh, I should probably check out that one. And mm. I never had. I think I kind of got this confused with Shirley Valentine, which, of course, was directed by um, Lewis Gilbert as well. It was also written, I think it was written by the same writer as well. Oh, well, there you go then. Which is weird, because I actually watched that film a few a few weeks ago, because mm. uh, that's another one. That's, that's one my mum always, like raved on about Shirley Valentine yeah, yeah. and I watched it I remember it. when that came out and because whenever there's a sort of popular British film that comes out we hear about it for weeks and weeks they were like Full Monty and Four Weddings and Train Spotting it's like that you know the, the press or whatever go on about it for weeks and weeks yeah exactly but I mean I I have to say I, Shirley Valentine I, I put, put, me, put me to sleep but then, <laughs> I've not seen it to be I'm to not I'm not its target audience <laughs> at all no. and uh, I can see why yeah, my mum was a single uh, mother, and uh, I can totally see why you know that appealed to her definitely. Um, but this, like that, is of it's very of its time. It's very eighties. This film, that's not a, a negative at all. Um, I think it's. I think for me, I mean, I quite enjoyed it. It's very, it's very play. I mean, it's it's obviously based on a stage play, um, as Shirley Valentine is, and both of them feel. They feel like they're on stage. They don't feel like they are. Well, actually, I think this one more so, and that's the way it was shot. Shirley Valentine very, uh, very much feels like it's it's filmed like a play. This one feels like it's filmed like a film. But obviously, the dialogue and the way they speak to each other, because it's like a two act, a, a two person play, feels very stage like. I don't know. Did did you get that a little bit? Not not really. I mean. I'll add that we we consider doing History Boys. We do, um, which again is based on a on a stage play. Yeah, we even watched it, but neither of us really felt it, shall we say? <laughs> Didn't really like it, so so we decided not not to not to do that one. Went for this one instead. Uh, History Boys felt very stagey to me because you know it is lots of scenes in a classroom and there's lots of I don't know. It just it, it, they didn't talk like normal people talk <laughs> really, particularly in the in the school and the setting that they were in. Whereas this felt a little bit more natural to me. Uh, yeah, it didn't feel like I was watching a play particularly. I could see how it would work on stage, certainly. But it didn't. I didn't get that too much from it, to be honest. That's interesting. That's, that, that's, that is interesting. Because, yeah, you're right. Uh, History Boys did feel very much like a play. Yeah, I mean, I, I, fa I found this one did. But then, yeah, 
that's that's the, and like I said, it's nothing to take away from it, it being a film. I mean, it's a, it's a, this is a great film. I can you can see why this film was, you know, highly. A lot of people really enjoyed this film when it came out, and and you can see why because it's got two electrifying performances. I think. Yeah. You know, Michael Caine is such a wonderful British actor, uh, as is Julia Walters. I think this was her first film. Yeah. This one. I think she um, was in the stage play as well. I think wasn't she? Oh yeah, very possibly so. Yeah, yeah. But they're just so magnetic together. I mean, actually, you know, when you talk about it being inspirational teacher, is it's actually inspirational student as well this time yeah, round. Yeah. I mean, obviously that's that works because it is one on one. It's not it's not him teaching a whole class. Although there are scenes, there's a couple of scenes here where he is uh, talking to the class. Although I don't think he's that inspirational to his class. No, not particularly. Uh, <laughs> no. I mean, because... well, <laughs> he gets asked if he's drunk, and he said, "Well, how? of course I am. How would you expect me to teach this sober?" <laughs> So, not particularly inspiring. It's both of their film, um, but I think, I mean, it's 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 more Julie Walters' character here than than his character. I mean, she is the young the young woman mm. who wants to wants to grow and wants to find herself. And it's interesting this film. I think you know I actually found a lot of similarities to myself. Uh, obviously, I'm male, not female. And I'm not. I don't struggle in the same way she she would, but. What I mean from that is, you know, I was someone at school that, and we spoke about this before, I didn't really get on with school that well. I didn't really enjoy it too well. But mm. I also never went to university. And I think a lot of my life, I've often thought, I should have gone to university. Maybe I should have got something out of university. Or maybe I would have got something out of university. Mm. And she goes through a similar, that similar thing. You know, she wants to better herself. But maybe maybe she doesn't actually need to better herself and she kind of goes full circle because there is that and I was always weary of that whole going to university and, and almost becoming a bit a bit pretentious you know I just kind of I, I found that I'm very happy to just enjoy what I enjoy and I don't mm. I don't need to have got all that although knowledge is great and I love reading and I love learning new things I just you know there's there's a certain direction you could go if you went to some of these kind of institutions and she kind of she goes there but then at the end of it without giving too much away she I mean she she's able to find herself in, in a good in a good way I hope I explained that correctly but um I think that's kind of you know I, I think this feels very realistic this 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 plot in this film um and they, they both play it really well I, yeah for that I thought I thought it was really good yeah, definitely. I mean, I I hadn't seen it before. I, I don't think so anyway. But no, I I really enjoyed it. Like you said, the performances are really good. You know, they're both really really watchable. Julie Waters is you know is just so likable. Even Michael Caine when he's being a miserable git, he's still <laughs> still fun to watch. Yeah, I mean the, the scene, well straight at the, at the start when it's sort of uh, panning across his bookshelves, and he looks like he's going to get a book out. I thought, guarantee there's going to be a bottle of booze behind the book that he takes out. And yeah, <laughs> there was. And then at the at the end, when he's when he's clearing his bookshelves, and uh, the amount of b bottles on all the shelves um, was yeah was a, a good callback to that. No, it's just it is just a really nice film that you know is is feel good. Maybe it doesn't end quite how you expect it to, um, which again is is good. You know, you, you kind of you feel like it's going in a certain direction but um, ends up in a slightly slightly different place than, than what you might expect. The relationship she has with her family is, is quite interesting, and her husband as well, and you, think, you wonder why they're even together. Uh, you do, yeah. He's, a... he's such a, he's, you know, it's strange because he's, he jokes around all the time, but obviously he's quite, under the surface, he's quite controlling. Uh, and obviously he has a very specific idea of what their marriage should be, but uh, and what she should be doing and shouldn't be doing. And he certainly doesn't think that she should be educating herself in any way. You know, he, she is just there to, to make babies, basically, to raise a family for him. Obviously, we're in the 80s and, and that that you know, sort of attitude was, was still around, you know, been around for a long time. She's trying to break free from that, from that sort of uh, archaic way of thinking. Almost a little bit ahead of its time. Um, well, definitely so for that. I, I, I found that his... When you first see him, he's quite playful, but it, he's there's a moment where he's quite he's quite volatile to her. Yeah, but it didn't seem to fit how he was originally. Do you know what I mean? No, I mean it's, it's yeah. Obviously, it's, I know I know if you are if you are a volatile person, you can snap 
definitely. But he it's almost like the actor playing him was too light, too. Mm. I don't know. It's, it's tricky. I mean, I mean, I guess you know, it, it's, you certainly they they do get on. You know, when we first meet him, uh, you know, and they have have fun together. But you know, she's obviously reached a point where she wants something, you know, from life that he doesn't. And yeah, and he's also kind of. I mean, he's he's portrayed as being quite a little bit, a little bit samey, a little bit boring, mm. a little bit. You know, he, all they all kind he of, wants to do is go down the pub of an evening and sing stupid songs and <laughs> exactly yeah and he's... i mean there's there's quite a sort of poignant moment in when they do go to the pub and you know she's sat around the table with friends and family and her mum and dad are there and they're all singing this song that's playing on the jukebox and she looks over at her mum and she's just got a tear rolling down her cheek like uh you know she's the same you know she's, yeah. she's fed up with this tedious life that she's been dealt but it's too late to do you know too late to do anything about it it is a good film it's very well it's very well written it's very it's very well directed i mean lewis gilbert most i know of him is being a bond director having yeah, directed yeah. two or three bond three films. i think yeah uh, you only live twice and moonraker and um spy love me so. yeah so you know famous bond director and you know many films in his long career so this is quite it's quite interesting completely different here uh, for him but you know very very well directed it's very funny there's some very warm moments there's some very funny there's a very funny moment with a door a kind of this, this, this ongoing joke throughout the film which is the Michael the door to Michael Caine's office which is very funny there's Maureen Lipman is in there as well she plays a, a, a woman that Julia Walters character moves in with gets a flat with that you know the inspirational teacher we should you know talk about that in that that's the theme that we've done this this month he is the inspiration is there, but I think they inspire both. They inspire each other. Yeah, they inspire each other definitely along yeah. the film. I yeah. mean, he he doesn't like I said. He do, he doesn't. He's not so keen on her going too full into that world. He he like he's he's he likes her for who she is originally, um, and when she starts kind of turning, he's not so he's not so keen on that. No, when she I, starts sort of not get to know some of the students and starts socialising with them and things like that. Yeah, she's he's concerned that he's. She's just going to turn into another one of them, and, and, student, and you know, as, yeah. as she starts to kind of, un- I mean, because obviously, you know, he is a he's a poetry teacher, and you know, he's obviously teaching her the works of uh, people like William Blake. I mean, these are these are people I know, but I, I don't know enough about them to really sit here and <laughs> and talk about them here. But um, you know, obviously, she she struggles like I do, I suppose. I struggle with things like that, uh, not knowing, and and as she starts to read more about it and get into it, she's able to you know, answer kind of intellectually about these things. Um, and he kind of, he that's where he starts to see that maybe she's becoming one of those, one of the other students or those students in the class at the, at the beginning. Uh, maybe a bit know-it-all at times. And uh, yeah, he just like kind of enjoys the, the freedom she maybe had before, before she kind of got stuck in those, in the ways, in those ways a little bit. So I think it's a really, and that's why it does feel very realistic. This film, you know, I, I, I think. But yeah, no, yeah, I think I think this is a really good one. I mean, I so we don't have this on DVD. You don't have this on DVD, do you? No, no. So I, I think. Where did you? You was on TV, didn't you? It was on. Yeah, BBC One showed it actually. Just yeah, you know, just so happened that it was going to be on TV. So um, yeah, I just yeah watched it on there. I watched it on iPlayer. Yeah, so I caught it on BritBox. They must have. They they got rights for it at the moment. BBC, because you saw it on BBC and I saw it on BritBox. Uh, but there are DVDs, Blu-rays of this? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's been lots of DVDs. Um, it has been released on Blu-ray in the UK as well. Not not hard to find. And yeah, obviously on TV recently. So it's obviously something that's shown every once in a while. Yeah, check it out if you haven't. But yeah, I think, you know, if you don't know it, then I, I recommend... I, I think it's a, it's a it's a good film. It's I mean, a lot of people will have seen it. It's, it's a very famous film. But I think it closes nicely our... our a month of um, inspirational teachers. So that was Educating Rita. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, let us know in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button over there and don't forget to push the bell for notifications. There's other videos to check out over here. Come and find us on social media and join us again soon for another video.